Hey, what's up, everybody? We are here with the first descendants. Already been out for a few days, I think almost a week. Not maybe a full week already. And uh, we're going to hop into this and see what this is like. I'm not really familiar with any of the studios that made this game, really. So I don't know what kind of like quality they're pumping out. But from what I've seen, it all looks good. Uh, as you can see, this is the first time I'm logging into the sucker. Um, HDRI. I really need to upgrade my monitor. I did. I. It was one of those things where it's like super poor timing, where I got a brand new monitor like a month or two. Like HDR, like really started popping off and becoming a thing, and I'm just like, <sighs> where you buy your brand new thing, like so close to when a new innovation happens that really sticks around. Um, it looks good on your guys' end. Everything looks good on mine. All right. Gotta check the stream because for some reason, game capture always comes out like darker or later, depending. All right. Oh, that's dope. I just got dogs. No. <laughs> Let's hop in. Yeah, I have zero idea of like what the story for this one is. All I know is like it's gun related and you can kind of choose different characters. I don't know how much there's custom. I saw everything. The connection between two worlds. About a century ago, humans were defeated by the Vulgus. Invaders from the other world. Then came the Colossi. Who destroyed everything. Humans resisted until they could no longer. Then they found hope. They were gifted the forgotten ancestor's power. Finally, they could fight with newfound strength. But another threat had emerged. Karel, the new leader of the Vulcus. His dark ambitions are driving both worlds to the brink of collapse. We must fight back. With the ancestor's power bestowed upon us. Descendant, can you hear me? I've been waiting for you. Dude, this looks so beautiful. So much particle effects. It's insane. According to the investigative core, the Ironheart is in the room. The assignment is simple. Bunny will collect it while one of you protects her. So, who is going to take this on? Well, first. This dude looks awesome, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be the heavy character. I, I, I don't even know if it's really tied to that. This guy looks kind of cool. Like, his his outfit looks awesome, but then his face is, like, default character setting. Um, You know, we've been playing a, with, a, like, a lot of dude characters in, like, Illness and Zero and Genshin and all that. So let's actually go with the you know, character here. Seems like my kind of job. Wouldn't it be easier if I just froze everything? Oh, okay. We actually have still trees kind of thing. Um, defense is pretty low comparatively, but she does have max high age. I I don't even know high. Like these are starting characters, so it's like I don't even know what's. Actually, let's let's check to see what other people's stats are. 
I'll go. I just need to blow up everybody except Bunny, right? Okay, max HP way higher on him. And everything else looks a bit more balanced. Leave it to me. Defense is my forte. Okay, so it seems like this second uh Pentagon, Pentagon is uh kinda like the standard base level for most skills for everyone. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with her. Seems like my kind of job. Wouldn't it be easier if I just froze everything? Max defense is so freaking This is this is so bad. Her max defense is super low, and all of her other skills are roughly at the same spot as everyone else's. Okay, we're gonna make it hard for ourselves. Let's do this. Ladies night! <laughs> do this. I believe this is a, coming from a Korean studio. Which Korea's real I feel like Korea's really been popping off the last uh few years. And good for them. Like we just played Lies of P, which is a uh, Korean made game. As well, and that game was fucking popping off. Wait for me. <laughs> There's no iron heart on that side either. This is the last spot. Let's get this over with. The architect ruins. It took so many soldiers to find this place. Please let the iron heart be in here somewhere. I hope it is too, Bunny. I'd like to give Albion some good news. Finding the iron heart is important, but so is retrieving it. The Volkus also have their sights set on these ruins. Eh, don't worry about that, Alpha. Compared to me, the Volkus are as slow as turtles. I'll freeze anything coming after us. You should go first, Bunny. Good to know you have my back. All right. So, do you know what the heart looks like? Oh, whoa, okay. I guess we'll know it when we see it. So, oh, L1. Come on, hurry up. Okay, so X is jump. Gotta run. HUD looks nice. I'll take the lead. Gotcha. Oh, we have double jump already. What the heck? What's going on? All operators ah. report. Whew. We almost died. I'm okay, by the way. Roger that. Resume operation. Okay, so there's there was like an invisible wall there. Oh yeah, you also notice down in the corner we have three different guns, it looks like. Okay, that's fire. Oh, that's down sights. Um. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's not good. Oh, there. There we go. Okay, for some reason, our melee wasn't working for a second. Oh, what's this? Okay, scan. I'm loading. Okay, load. I don't know how to switch weapons. Bunny, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Damn it! The Vulcans! What? I'll come help! Don't worry about me. I'll take care of this. Load. Okay. It seems like we're gonna have a lot of skills and whatnot, obviously, down at the bottom. Huh. I'm glad you're safe. I won't die on you. Don't worry. No need to brag. Come on, let's keep going. Going through the tunnels. Whoa. What is all this? Huh, there's no way through. This is the only place left. There has to be something here. Hey, what's up, Ash? It's the Iron Heart. Cover me. 
Honey's voice actor kind of reminds me of Tracer, except without the Australian accent. Knows, don't touch the ancient artifact. The Iron Heart is somehow calling to me. But wait, what the hell? Oh, my God, this totally reminds me of a uh, control. The weird zones Jesse would get herself stuck in. Except without, like, you know, with, with more colorful scenery. Oh. That. Oh, sweet. Woo! Oh no! No, 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 no! Ah. Yeah. We've been playing a lot of uh, men in a lot of other games we've been doing, so. I thought today could be ladies' night. And I do know that there's like other characters. Or at least. I don't know if there's skins or other characters, but I know there's like more. Yeah. It's just kind of a bummer that she has, like, not the best skills to start out with. Wow, whoever did the audio balancing for, like... You're finally here. Not do a good job. Those watery footsteps sound so fucking loud compared to everything else happening. <laughs> Gonna be our shrine keeper. This is the connection procedure. Descendant. Initializing process to access your consciousness. We both need the Iron Heart. I can help humanity. Descendant. you see it too, the guide? Yeah, I saw it. It took me to a weird place. Hold on. It's the Vulgus. They found their way here.
Vulcus attacked. Huh? Where are you? I have synchronized with your consciousness. Focus on the heart. It must not be captured. Hey, how do I pick stuff up? Ah. Oh, wrong button. Jesus, God. Trampoline hook. What? Interesting. It doesn't really go straight to the ledge. Wait. Oh, it literally goes anywhere. Oh, okay. So I have to purposely... I thought it just kind of auto-targeted wherever the red... Red was. That explains some of my troubles. Oh, God. Wow, I am... I need to get used to this. I do not know why. I'm just used to, like, grappling and swinging being automatic. Oh, there we go. Okay, circle, dodgeball. What? Dang, I keep hitting L1 instead for grappling hook. Ironically, I was just playing Sekiro, and I think that's what it's mapped to in there. That could be why. Explodents? I still haven't figured out how to swap weapon. There we go. Okay. Triangle. Ooh, okay, got a sniper. Wait. Okay. Interesting. You don't just hit triangle to cycle through. You either tap for one gun or you hold to go down to the bottom one. Which, the bottom gun's invisible for me for some reason. The bottom gun uses the power of imagination. of your unconscious mind. Test your limits. What the... What kind of power is this? This is your true form. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I don't know why it feels... Maybe it's a little too sensitive. Maybe that's why. I, I'm having issues trying to lock on. Aim. Oh! Oh, okay. It doesn't really change... Does it change? I can't tell. I don't... Either it doesn't change, or it becomes slightly more sensitive when you actually zoom in. Alright. Got hole. Watch out. Whoop. I could definitely see how this could be super fun. It's been a while since your last report. Have you regrouped with Bunny? I need confirmation. Noted. I'm at the rendezvous point. Bunny, where are you? Bunny, respond. All right. See what the world looks like. All right. I'm assuming those aren't our guys. Sniper. Snipe him now. Oh, he saw us. Ooh.
touch the heart. It's triggered some kind of anomaly. Okay, there we go. That's some weird shit. Oh, they kind of just like really threw you into this. In terms of like story and what's going on. Oh god, I'm inside of it. Oh, no I wasn't. I was on it. Okay, I thought I was inside of it. I couldn't tell that I was... This is gonna be the easiest version of this enemy ever, I'm assuming. Oh, shotgun. Alright. Invisible shotgun. Whoa. That is a lot of ammo. Okay. I'm all for one having an easy like opening tutorial boss, but that was very much easy. <laughs> So I'm assuming the glowy lady we talked to is the guide. Follow my voice. Oh wow. I need your help. Humanity requires my help. I can find the iron heart. Oh wow. Enzo. Did you hear that voice? Yeah, I heard it too, Bunny. I need to explain the situation to Alpha. You should go and get treated. What? Can't Alpha hear the guide's voice? I don't hear anything at all. It seems to only be linked to active descendants. Now, are there any other descendants who have had contact with the guide? Aside from Jeremy, all descendants have reported connecting with the guide. And the descendant who first made contact with the Ironheart will be arriving at HQ shortly. When it comes to the guide, we have to consider all possibilities. Make sure you familiarize yourself with everything. There, there's... Okay, I wonder if you can play this in offline mode, or if at the very least there's a way to remove people's names over their head, because that is because that is cluttering up the screen a lot. Oh, okay, pause menu. All right, let's see here. Guns look nice. The design. I do gotta say, so far a lot of the design stuff looks nice. Unfortunately, the one that I really don't like is Bunny. He's got the problem that I refer to as, like, 
um whenever they try to do like future like not really cyberpunk but like futuristic tech they generally over design it so it looks very cluttered make it look complex but it's like it's not it's a hell like her helmet it's got like a million little bits on it but it's like none of those have any purpose like a few of them maybe but like why why does there need to be a square on a square next to a circle with the rotator cuff it's like none of that has any purpose or meaning and it's like overly designed it's like so far we haven't seen like basically any characters but just from walking around most of the characters look pretty nice designed and basic like, like these npc characters they look really nicely designed it almost reminds me of um i haven't played too many of them but monster hunter type design do they look unique but not like main character unique oh, okay big hand got hands and the design of this area looks nice too i just wish all this stuff wasn't like popped up on my screen there I don't oh no there's world talking i don't i don't want <sighs> okay how do we get rid of that Okay, just back out a bit. Oh, there we go. Wanna feel it chill? Oh, oh shit, we already there's already like a Whoa, okay, there's actually a pretty big roster. I wasn't sure how many characters there'd be. I was expecting maybe ten, but it looks like they have what, 15, 20 people, maybe? Sweet. This operation? It's just wiping them all out. I can't wait. Like, I feel like the next step, like, a next, um, evolution for games, like, it, it's a small feature, but, like, dynamic lip-syncing to audio. I think that would be cool. Where, like, they'd run a program where, like, the lip-syncing would automatically update and change based on the language that's running it as long as it's not like oh we pre-made this super high resolution cutscene as long as it's like an in engine in-game cutscene once you like change the language it changed the lip sync because the problem now is like usually they have like someone like they're facial capturing someone doing the performance or they're just like doing the hand animation mouth flaps but i think one of the next things that people really need to work on is trying to do like a program which dynamically does mouth which matches language this, operation, it's just... this dude looks dope let me tell you how i back to the okay he's a little hard here this operation it's okay just so that's just oh okay got it got it all right that's just a skin for him Commencing. Synchronization operation. <laughs> Are you ready to be shot? Honey. <laughs> Let me tell you how I managed to come back from the world today. Interesting. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me check. Skills. Are they... Okay, they look like their skills and everything are the same. It's just the armor that's different. Do as I say, if you want to live. Who is? Can we rotate and look at the character model? Ah, no. Um. Do as I say. Details. If you want. Details. Oh, there we go. Also, there's like little detail stuff about it. Lore. Or. Oh, she's got like toxic. Do as I say. If you want to live. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, my beloved daughter, Daya. Hold on a little longer. Your mom will save you no matter what. I'm sorry, I just, I, I recently saw like this threat, uh, it wasn't really a threat, I can't remember where it was, um, but they were basically talking about how it's like, video games refuse to have like middle-aged to older women in video games, that everyone needs to look like they are either 18 to 25, it's like, yeah, y you're a mom, I'm sure, a person that definitely looks like that they're in their mid-20s, and definitely not in their 30s. Chill. Okay, all of them have like gold like masks on kind of I don't know. I like I like the outfit, but I'm not big on the mask It'd be cool if they did the thing that uh, some games do where it's like here's your armor set But you can toggle whether you see the helmet on and off. That'd be cool The vulgus can't see me Why? Because I am in their blind spot Oh, that's cool for ninja player so what's my role cook or arsonist oh nice firebender wait we can't descendants roster one of ten oh, wait we can only have ten what do you get when you mix water and onion Oh, I like her design. It's like kind of simple, but nice. Of course. Cool. Oh, With my strength, I will pull everything towards me. Even the final victory. Magneto. You don't build a reputation. Oh, okay, so they're like basically X-Men at this point, right? Like Are we okay. Like our character that we have now, she didn't really seem well she had ice powers. So I guess we're just all X-Men at this point. The most important things on the battlefield. The Matrix. <laughs> totally ripped that off. And support naturally. Eh. Every so often you'll see a character design where it's like they got like a little flimsy like uh thing over their eye, or they got like a little flimsy antenna sticking up. It's like you don't need that. What do you need that for? You've got a million characters that have like cybernetic gear. None of them have like weird tiny antennas sticking out of them. Why do you need that? You're trying to get every FM radio, like... <sighs> My dream is for you all not to get hurt. But nothing at all will get to me. Oh, is he a medic? I don't know, this kind of just gives medic vibes, maybe because the blue is similar to, like, the scrubs you see, uh, somewhere. X increase. Oh, oh, nice! I didn't even realize they do little uh, videos to show the moves. Oh, yep, definitely a healer. Okay, cool. I'd be down to get this guy. Are you ready to be shot? Okay, funny. Um, I'm a big fan of her helmet. I wish it was just more of like a face mask and then her hair could be down. It's, it's like, it's weird that you have like, oh, here's a hole in your helmet so you can pull your hair out of it. It's like, it's just weird, <laughs> weird design. Oh, my beloved daughter, Daya. Hold on a little longer. Your mom will save you no matter what. How many characters are there?
Okay, so 14 characters plus a couple of different, like, gold level skins. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, I, like, we were just playing, uh, Zona Zen Zero, which is the new Hoyoverse game. And I was disappointed in that one because it really didn't seem like there were a lot of characters in there. Although, to be fair, we've seen that game for, like, two or three years. And most of the characters in that game were already revealed for, like, since it, the first reveal, so. Yeah, this dude... Eugene, my dream is for you all not to get. What do you get when you mix water and oil? Ball bay, ball by. <laughs> and then I think. Mm, of course. Oh, my beloved daughter Daya. She's dope too. Do as I say. If you want to. Live. Those are the ones that I'm really looking for. All right, I don't know. Oh wait. Okay, I do know that there's like in-game buying stuff, but you can also earn things. So, got to figure out how we do that. And what is with this magic number of like there's always got to be three different materials of payment. It's like they're such assholes. Because here's the thing, anyone that plays these kind of games is always familiar. There's always like three different kinds of currency, and there's always a way to like gift and get things for free. But I think three is the magic number to make things complex enough to the point where it's like a lot of people will be like, you know what, fuck it, I'll spend the money and buy it. I think that's why all of these games usually have like three different currencies, at least, because that's like the threshold of like making it confusing enough to where most normal people would be like, I'll just spend the money rather than trying to figure this out. I think that's why. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, wait, hold on. We got map. World map. Classic. Oh, okay. Um, zoom out. Oh, there we go. We got mail. Honestly, not a big fan of having a literal mailbox. I just prefer to have that in, like, my option. Journey. Records. I don't know what that did, but we got something. Um, that fail. Right. Library gives us all our information. Oh, okay, cool. So this gives us like the full everything on everyone. Cool, cool, cool. Oh wait, hold on. Weapons. I did see some of the weapons. All gold. Wait, why are they all gold? Oh, dude, that one looks sick. Good weapon design. You're, ah, goddamn you, Twitch. Alright, thanks for letting me know. For some reason, Twitch. I forgot to update it on there. Or like I updated it, but like the reason it doesn't take on um. There we go. Thank you for letting me know. Got to check Twitch. Yeah, every time I go live, I usually have to double check Twitch to make sure it changes. And of course, on one of the few days I don't check, it is one of the few days, actually. A bunch of stuff. Uh, quests, subquests. Okay. Clear organization for those, I always appreciate. Social. All right. Now uh, let's go check mail. Why not? Oh, 
Oh, wow, why, why, why do we have... Oh yeah, I also forgot, um... I was doom scrolling through YouTube and IGN posted a video on Zona Sen Zero yesterday, or I think the day before that. And like right near the end, they show off like I think four different codes you can put in to that game to get just free materials and like free like uh, pulls and stuff like that. So I went and did that yesterday. Uh, Head skin for bunny. Oh, head skins. Oh, okay. So there's like like full on probably gonna get a bunch of armor skins and whatnot in this game for characters. That's one thing I feel like a lot of the Hoyo games really don't do well is like consistently putting out skins for people. Although they usually put out character like new characters, which is like nice, but still it's like also pop off some more skins. And you're only one of the most successful games ever made. That's also a nice thing. Like whenever there's like an issue or something and the company's like, here's free shit. <laughs> Our bad. Oh, we're like, oh, I didn't even realize we were outside. I thought we were like in a bunker. Oh, wow. It's for built in the side of a mountain. Sick. Yeah, I could definitely see why people are like, this is kind of like Destiny. And so far it's like, wow, this is kind of a lot like Destiny. <laughs> Although they said they were, we were invaded. I'm assuming aliens, but is it like base aliens or is this more like interdimensional kind of stuff? That would be interesting. Hey, glowy light lady. A new hope. To those descendants who have connected to me, thank you for answering my call. This is Albion, the last bastion of humanity. Many lives have been laid before the Ironheart. I wish to help humanity. My system can locate the Ironheart. However, my functions were damaged after I was separated from it. If I can access the data left by my creators, the ancestors, I should be able to find a way to restore my system. I appeal to all descendants who can hear my voice. Please help me to restore my system. Take me to the ancestors' facility. A system that can find the iron. What is it exactly? Alpha, it looks like the guide is speaking to another descendant nearby. I've uploaded the details of the conversation to the command console. Hmm. Based on this, the guide seems to be more AI than spiritual being. Any descendant who's been contacted by the guide, please report to HQ immediately. Nell, as a non-descendant, how do you feel about this? phenomenon. I believe it holds sufficient strategic value to be of interest. The success of this operation will lead us to victory. I didn't expect you to be speaking to the guide. I thought you were headed straight to HQ. Well, first off, well done on the mission. It was a difficult one. Corel showing up in person, even I was concerned. Since your operation, a strange phenomenon has affected descendants. When you said there was hope, were you talking about the guide? To be honest, I suspect that the guide is either a new vulgus weapon or a new enemy. It's clever claiming to be able to find the Iron Heart for us. Who wouldn't want to believe that? If they're desperate enough. That is how traps are laid. Everything has a price. 
My staff officers, however, seem to have a different opinion. Enzo and Nell have proposed verifying the guide's credibility by fulfilling her requests. And the truth is, we currently lack any leads on the Ironheart. Enzo and Nell have determined that if the guide can close the gaps in our knowledge, it will be worth it. Luckily, there is an ancestor's facility within the territory we occupy. We plan on making contact with the guide there. Descendant, this is your next mission. I would like you and Bunny to bring the guide to the Ancestors' facility in Kingston. Deploying the descendants who have been in closest contact with the Ironheart is our best bet. Bunny, I know you're recovering from your injuries, but I'm sure you understand the importance of this. I'll order the Investigative Corps to provide support. I hope we see some results, whatever the outcome may be. Bunny, you'll need to equip a new suit before you leave. I've already notified the Ordnance Department. The new suit? Uh, it won't be taken out of my pay, right? It will be deducted from your pay, naturally. Ah, damn it. Okay. Guys, different areas. Um. World difficulty normal. I don't really, can't really tell a landmass. Oh, just teleport. Okay. Teleporting all over the place. Yeah, I definitely heard people like refer to this as like Warframe slash lit destiny esque like. I'm Marcus from the Investigative Corps. I have orders from HQ to escort your descendant. This way, please. Sounds like some stuff's going down. Do you have a question? Yeah, what the f is going on, bud? Thank you for all your hard work during the operation to retrieve the Ironheart. The results of that operation were disappointing, but we'll keep looking for other ruins. The Investigative Corps will always support the Descendants. Speaking of which, we heard you're heading to the Ancestors' facility in this area. The facility was once used as a research center by the Magisters, before it was abandoned. I never thought we'd be going back there again. It's been deserted for a long time. Anyway. Let me take you to the facility. Sit tight. Security Corps, this is Lieutenant Marcus from the Investigative Corps. We have orders from HQ to open the gate to the Ancestors facility. Security Corps, do you copy? This is Lieutenant Marcus from the Investigative Corps. What's going on?
Security Corps, respond. Security Corps! Damn it. Descendant, it looks like the Volgas have arrived. Comms are already down. Use the emergency communicator to contact HQ while I try to get a handle on the situation. How did you hear about this game, Ash? Like, I vague, like I, I saw this at, like, game, like, different game conferences and stuff, but I never really thought about it much. Um, but then, like, the last few days, a bunch of people were streaming it, and that kind of actually got me wanting to play it. Because, yeah, unfortunately, like, when I first saw it, it just kind of gave me the vibes of, like, yeah, this will be dead in a year kind of thing. But then when I saw people playing it, and they were like, oh, no, this is, like, legitimately, like, a fun, good game, and not just, like, Hella generic, like, basic shooter. That's what got me really interested in it. Descendant, be careful. Both the signals are being detected from inside the communication center. Really? Guys, you're so lax. We have enemies, like, right here. Can't wait until we get to the These point where bastards. people aren't just like insta death. Doesn't feel like a simple raid. They seem to be after this place. The scenery looks really nice. Like whoever did the level design so far, like very, very, we've seen very little. But the home base looked nice, and so does this place. Combining like classical architecture with this new stuff looks really cool. I think I'm gonna just uh, chill and just try to get through some story stuff today. I'm like 99% sure about. Yep, okay, just making sure. Wait, can we. Is this not a door? I assume this was door. Eh, alright. But yeah, we'll definitely play this at some point. Like, maybe, probably. I don't know. Like, still, it's like first first time trying it. We'll see. But so far, yeah, this seems pretty fun. It's weird because it's like you know some games you can play, and like everything about it would be like, yeah, I really would like that game. But then there's just something about the gameplay or something, and you're just like, this just feels so boring for some reason. Dude, there could be such cool explorational abilities with this because this fucking grappling hook letting you grapple hook anywhere means there could be some cool hidden shit somewhere yeah i plan on playing this today and tomorrow and so far like i'm only like what 20 minutes in oh my god we're an hour in holy shit i thought we were like 20 minutes in uh but yeah, so far it's been super fun. Got you. Yeah, because I've... Okay. I wasn't sure. It doesn't seem like we take fall damage. That's good. I'm not sure exactly what we're picking up. I'm assuming ammunition, but it's like... Feels like I'm picking up more than that. Oh, whoa. Like little duty boxes. I'm loading. Wait, where am I going? Okay. Really? Wow. 
I'm assuming... Okay, were you just, like, hitting the game really hard and just playing the shit out of it? Or is it just that easy? In order to reach the communications repeater, we need to secure this base first. They'll be attacking from all sides using their assault ship and transmission devices. Proceed with caution. Oh god. The sniper feels so nice. I'm just used to Call of Duty. Where it's just like one shot and then you have to like pause. What's the range on this? Oh my god. That is some crazy range. Sneezing. Off wiring. Oh god. <laughs> so yeah, how does leveling up work in here? Is it just basic, like, you get XP and it boosts you? Or do you have to, like, apply stuff to your character? I love that you just pop, pop, pop. I like the sniper. Oh, okay, so never mind, stupid question, just got my answer. <laughs> yeah. I need to get used to that melee, that's a weird melee. Because again, it's like playing Call of Duty, a lot of these kind of buttons are just like reflexive for me and it's the wrong button <laughs> for a melee. Because we have run, and then we have this scan. Yeah, we also got like a bunch of. Oh wait, we got a gun. Oh, okay. So pickups. Wasn't even realizing I was picking up like stuff like that. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see here. I don't know how I feel about that. They're like pretty closely grouped together, so pretty easy to take out. Although, yeah, we're like freaking first mission. Ash, all gates have been blocked, and it looks like we've lost all our soldiers. Damn it, Focus bastards! I'll try to go around. I'll leave you to it. We'll join you once the communications repeater has been reactivated. There we go. Should be able to enter the communications relay base. All right. Wait. I okay. I love that they're giving us three weapons. Honestly, I would have been okay with just having two on us, but three, sweet. Yeah, like I was trying to say earlier, with the grappling hook, you could explore so much and have like cool little hidden areas here. 
Alright, good, thank you. Because, like, I've been playing a lot of Hoyover stuff, and the way they do levels ups in there is so fucking dumb and annoying. <laughs> That's, like, one of the worst game design parts of them. The way that they chose to do that. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? Um, okay, we got mods. Oh, yeah, 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 I can figure all that stuff out. Okay. Um. Oh, those are mods. This is... Okay. Guns, what do we got? Only have those. I picked up one. Okay, that was the wrong button. Or did we? Did I pick up an extra? Oh, oh, they're different levels. Oh, that's the destiny part of it. Okay. <laughs> then, no, that this is one special rounds. This is like a... This is level three. Pop it out. EPS. Way more... Really? That's insane. This thing was already doing like an... In, like almost a quarter of the enemy's damage. Okay, and we'll, we'll swap out this top one. We'll see how this one goes. I've kind of been relying on the automatic for what little we will see. I'm assuming special ammo might be harder to find, possibly. Impact rounds, high power rounds. We were running out of those. Fire rate up. I don't think I'll apply anything right now. These guns already seem pretty powerful. Got weaponless. Special round. I'm assuming we can't level up our weapons. We can only level up our character. Oh no, these actually do stuff. Okay, I was gonna say, do these just change the color? Um, toxic, burning mix, burning. Okay, well, honestly, I haven't really been using much of the moves, though. I've been just shooting up a storm and not really doing any of that. Got so many... So many thingies. For armor. Oh, we got bear. Adorable. Okay. Um, there's another game that's gonna be dropping. That kind of almost reminds me of this. Well, seeing this backpack makes me think of it. Um, what was it? It was like no longer human. I'm just gonna type in human game. <laughs> Let's see if this comes up. It reminds me of Once Human. Like, I guess it's a weird game which has like realistic kind of characters like her, but then it also has like wacky weird shit as well. And I'm like, what's the tone of that game? And this is kind of giving me a little bit of those vibes, except once human seems like they're pushing a lot more like crazier shit happening. Because it's weird, like the enemies looks like they're like more towards like nightmare fuel stuff, but then their characters, some of them just look fucking ridiculous and wacky. Like an alpaca with a Gatling gun. So it's like, it's a weird mix. It'd be cool if like you find out that game takes place in your dreams, because then that would make sense why some characters look like wacky and cartoonish, but then the villains are all like nightmare fuel. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, oh, we can't really see them. Oh, dude, that's like a little space station. That's cool. Oh, dude. Oh, I was gonna say, is that a coffin? <laughs> but no, that just looks like a normal backpacky thing. Um, okay, so we got that. Oh, interesting. There's just full on skins. Oh! Oh! Dude! Oh my god! Okay, yes! Okay, I wasn't sure how this game was gonna handle this. I honestly thought it was just like, here's different characters 
with different moves and that's it. I did not realize there was full on like you could also customize your character to some extent on top of choosing different characters. That's cool. I'm trying to think there's not too many games that do that. Obviously there's things like Overwatch where there's like specific characters and they have different skins. That's it. This is actually full on like no you can customize the outfit as well. We can get the dinosaur onesie. I don't know how we earn it, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're getting the dino onesie. Yeah. We got this, I guess. Eh. Unequip. That, that, that's just for spawning it. Interesting. So there's different selectable things. Uh, UI HUD. Oh wait, no, sorry. I, I was hit. I'm glad I was hit. No skins available. Oh, dude, that's so sick. That's a cool idea. Having different themes for your UI, kind of like how you could have like different themes for like your desktop computer and shit. That would be cool. Being able to change all of it, how this shit looks, theming wise. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've really seen many ga any games really do this. There's one from the PS2 era called Dot Hack, where they were trying to simulate what an MMORPG would be like, but it was just a normal RPG, but it was pretending to be an MMO. Um. And they allowed you to change themes and stuff on your computer. That's the closest I could think of this. Yeah, that's a super cool idea is being able to change the theming of the HUD. Because, yeah, very clearly... Oh, that's cool. Dude, every, everything. Everything you can customize. That's so cool. Wait, can we... Wait, weapon skins. So not only can we get the gun, but we can also change the skin of the gun full customization for everything that's cool dude yes i appreciate it although we have yet oh wow okay although i think most of this stuff only works because like there there's clearly dipping into a more silly tone like more like ridiculous tone which i wonder if that will hurt the main story because the main, like, we've done nothing with the main story, basically. But it seems kind of pretty serious. I'm trying to introduce more wackier concepts, maybe. But, uh, yeah. Once Human is something I want to look into. That's also a fucking weird-ass game. But yeah, I did not realize this had such wacky stuff. I thought this was going to be, like, a more straightforward... Maybe not fully serious, but semi-serious, like, space thing. I didn't realize it had, like... Dude, this is cool. This is how you monetize shit, baby. You make everything customizable. Oh, name card. We have nothing for that. This. I don't know what this skin would be. And we have emotes. Dude, that is dope. Customization. Yeah, wow. They went all out on customization. Good for them. I don't think... I've seen a game that this level of customization but at the same time i don't play too many games that are like ironically um that are here pay for this skin kind of games like this feels like very much like pc mmorpg that like maybe you don't really know much about but then you just find one day kind of thing that where they went all out on customization all right that's super cool that's super dope um Got this new rifle. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to add any of these guns yet. And I don't know about this. I'm not sure what exactly that does. It like boosts us. But. Alright. Anyway, out of the menus. Woohoo! This is cool. Dude, yeah. Wow, I am really loving this game. This is really cool. I was hoping I'd like it, but, like, I am really vibing with this so far, and we're only, like, a little bit in. Find the communication repeater in this building. Once it's reactivated, we 
We can use the last of the remaining communicators. Oh yeah, I may mean, have a radar up top too, which I should probably... What's the range for it? I wish there was a little... Okay, it's a burst shot. I wish there was a bit of destructibility with some stuff. That'd be nice. Random bot. Damn it. The bogus forces have managed to infiltrate this far end. Protect the repeater until it's fully reactivated. <laughs> ah, dang it. So sensitive. Oh yeah, I might need to change the sensitivity. Oh god. Wait, what's that? Oh wait, there's a sniper. Wait, is that... I can't tell if he's on our team or not. Yeah, I'm gonna need to change sensitivity. This is like crazy. Oh, dude, I didn't even realize I could do that to enemies? I can grappling hook enemies. Like, I thought like big guys, maybe. I need to definitely work in doing our special moves a lot more because I was really flubbing that. There was a dude near here that was like doing some sniper shots that was really helping me out. What? And yeah, that uh, circle ice move, I'm not really sure what that did exactly. Um. Yeah, tr I need to remember to do this. This, bud. I can't even tell if these are main story stuff or if we're just like kind of doing side questy stuff right now. Yeah, making this a three burst round is kind of hand handicapping me. It feels like doing the automatic made it a lot faster. Oh, midair. And I need to be able to tell apart, like, the different kind of ammos on the ground and, like, what's actually, like... Oh, yeah, like that. Boom. Guns. Oh. I... I wish we had a grenade or something, but our special moves kind of work like that. Okay, good to know. All right, for the three round shots, I just realized you can't just hold down the fire button and we'll do three shots, pause three shots. Like you have to hit it every single time. 
and the lame. Oh, that's actually like a treasure chest. Okay. Yeah, like, good lord, guys. Like, who's, like, supposed to be protecting this zone? Like, we got a base, like, right there. And we're seeing dudes walking down this hill. Ah, that was okay. I thought we saw another one. Okay, um, go over here. Oh, okay. The double jump feels a little weird. Or no. Oh god! Boom! I don't know how strong our hit is. Oh, okay. Woo! Okay, that... That kind of surprised me a bit. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. That pillar would is higher than the roof would be. Oh god, oh god, oh god. God, there's just like a lot of stuff on the ground. Alright, back to Bunny. A lot of those, but 
Got a healer. Uh, workbench. Storage box. Oh, we have storage box. Oh god. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Updates the map. Um. Some of these button setups are just so weird. Jumpies. Man, how awesome is this? This is free to play games from now on. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Alright. This doesn't feel good. It seems like Alpha doesn't trust the guide at all. The RK from the guide felt familiar. That makes me think she's on our side. Oh shit. What if Alpha can't link to the guide because of RK? He doesn't use his RK abilities much these days. <sighs> Who knows? Let's focus on the operation for now. I'll go scout every nook and cranny in Kingston. And I'll look for that annoying enemy commander as well. I'll leave the Volgus siege to you. They're starting to spread out like they own the place. All right. Catch you later. Don't push yourself too hard. Okay, so I just looked up the website for Once Human. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it's only really coming to phones and PC, and it's not got any plans for console yet. But I just found out what the release date for it was, because I wanted to check. It's literally coming out on the 9th. It's like, wow! These two games seem like they could possibly be very similar in gameplay and, like, general, like, concept stuff. And they are coming out so close together. Although, to be fair, Once Human has a lot more dreamy horror themes to it, so I guess that would separate it, but wow. Two big free games coming out pretty close together. Plus, Zoneless and Zero drops in between the two. That's insane. People playing free games, eating super good this month. Like, holy shit. The invading Vulture forces establishing position. We need to clear up the building before they really dig in. Have our new ice move. Whoop. That one I like. We're picking up enemy transmission signals. Be careful. I'm loading. I've been informed that the Volgus transmission system has a very limited range. This means there must be an enemy command center somewhere in Kingston. Oh, I hear... I hear maniacal laughter. <laughs> it's like, sir, do you need to pay your rent? I know you're in there. I can hear your maniacal laughter, sir. Sir! I should probably look at the... There's probably a list or something to show the enemies. I'd like to see some of these guys more up close. Because honestly, these little basic dudes look kind of nice. Ah! Ah! Flanking! Oh, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. 
Ah, hot shots. <laughs> Such a delay. We're receiving sightings of a powerful Volgus unit. If we defeat him, the rest will retreat. That's so bad. Oh, there we go. Woo. Wait, wait, wait. We got something to level two. I don't know what that was. Uh. All right, let's look at some shit. Picked up some things. Quests. Oh, we got a few quests. Hello. Here we go. Explorer. Mastery ranking. I think that's what went up. Okay, so it's 30 calf already? Not super. Whoa. Okay, I did not think we picked up this many guns. Um, yeah, this specialty gun's okay, but I want to, like, full automatic. Okay, so these ones seem to be pretty good. Are they all like exactly the same? Yeah. Alright, we'll go with this one. Cool. Um, sniper. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, this early game takes like massive leaps and bounds. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, yikes. We had to, like, unload a whole clip to kill that one guy. Alright, maybe we should go back to base first so I shouldn't be standing in a field. That would probably be helpful. Alright. Oh, yeah, and I don't even know what healed us. Like, there's a medic station, and I know i taken damage, but I guess it's maybe healing over time or something? I don't know what the point of the medic station is. Yeah, dismantling, I was just probably the thing. All right, uh, I, I keep hitting the wrong one. All right, there we go. Jeez. All right, this thing, we got some sniper rifles that do a thousand. Like, I know I'm like literally just starting this game, but things still feel damn easy. Um, you haven't gotten any like power things i guess purple ones and orange to some extent are pretty rare oh whoa we go. i guess we'll dismantle some of these i collect junk Okay, let me see that. Oh yeah, we also have some fucking hand cannons, too. I'm gonna replace this with one of the hand cannons. Ooh. That actually kind of reminds me of a gun from, like, Destiny, I think it was called like the Thorn. And it was like a cool black six shooter. Kinda like that. 
It was pretty good for a while. I used to be really into Destiny 1, and I kind of fell off more towards the end and never really got into it. Um, we got these. Okay, what are these? Um... Oh, whoa. Jesus, yeah, they just throw so much stuff at you. Wow, okay. Cool. Um... I still don't know what most of these do. I'm just kind of like, what's got the biggest numbers? All right. You know what, let's modify this one. Okay, we, we don't get a lot of modifications. Ooh, fire right double. It already, it already goes. Pretty good. Oh, we have multiple of these. Can we stack? Once again, a lot of the buttons is like weird, where it's like, hit this button to save. It's like, L3, hit L3 to save. I don't think I've ever played a game where you hit L3 to save. And then the hand cannon. Oh yeah, so there's specific stuff for specific ones. It's like, we got two of these, so let's put one up here. This one should have this same. Ten percent. So it increases the magazine. The magazine on these are already pretty good. Fire rate crit. And then yeah, let's let's make the fucking sniper rifle fire faster. I wonder if you can get a sniper rifle and just get so many add-ons to it where it's just like firing like an assault rifle. Just blasting away. Okay, what what is this? Like it said, like showing that. Okay, check this out. But it's like nothing really there to check out. So I don't know why they keep that. Um, weapons list. Um, do we have? Oh, I didn't realize this had a full on battle pass. I thought it was just like a shop to buy stuff. Ooh. Okay, we'll we'll see, we'll see. Uh what's what is the battle pass? Cool. Oh, okay, well, that, that's kinda cool. Honestly, okay, this one looks kind of sick just because it's a more simplified aesthetic. I like that. This one's a little cool. Honestly, not much of this actually looks that interesting. <laughs> oh, we get aesthetics for our front, too. Which is almost useless since it's all like back viewed for most of the game. Oh, that one looks dope. That almost looks like something just because it's like um orange silvery this kind of reminds me of something like you'd see in uh uh what's it called half-life i don't know why it just screams half-life aesthetic i think it's just because it's orange <laughs> like literally bare minimum cookie so yeah they're going like heavy on like you'd see ridiculous stuff that you can get for like character and funny that one looks cool. oh we got drums bongos no that's drums that alert wait did we did i already circle wait did i circle all the way around i did i already circled around sorry i was expecting it to get to the end and stop but i didn't realize it just circles back around all right Interesting. 
Honestly, I'm not really interested in any of that. Uh, bonus shop. Uh, about okay, normal shop. Here we go. Wow. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot of categories. Um, we got monies. The basic monies, which I'm assuming is just throwaway, and I'm assuming everything's gonna be like paid for this stuff. Yeah. Oh wait, what? There's got to be a way to get this then. sworn i heard someone saying that like you could earn the character maybe we unlock them through story that's possible you see this is this is what i'm talking about we have three monies no you don't you have one everything in your shop is just that one money system they had to go full maids of course yeah, li literally yeah, none of the I seriously why why are you displaying these if these two don't do anything in here it's all just one payment like it would make sense if some of these tabs were like oh you can use either these two kinds of monies or whatever but it's like no it's all just one kind bridge okay and the only way to get that it looks like it's actually paying for it huh i don't know ash do you have any insight into this like there a way to like get this kind of money other than paying for it or is there like a different shop you can use for like this kind of money for like these kind of things it's like all of this just kind of seems like what the shit was that all right let, let's continue let's actually like pull out our hand cannon See how that plays. The Vulcans have established a field power plant in the area. It seems to be linked to the Magister Lab. It must be destroyed. Wait, wait, hold up. Do not shoot at or blow up that power plant unless you want it to explode. We need to detonate the circuits using a high voltage fuse. The construction point captain will show you how to handle this. Oh my god. But anyway, yeah, we're still super early into this. Like, we're like, like this is like their first set of missions. Oh, oh, you actually have to pick it up. It's not just permanently equipped. Interesting. Although I'm not super in love that we're just basically doing the same run animation, even though we have a huge briefcase in our hand. We're so close at one shotting those big guys. Generators fail if you attach high voltage fuses to parallel circuits. The ones used by the Vulcus are no different. Ah, I think I remember that. Okay. Well, I was expecting that, but I was also hoping that they'd have like other currencies or other kind of reward systems that you could get some of them from. Dude, this hand cannon is insane.
Oh my god. I was thinking it was gonna be like maybe a slower or have like smaller amount of ammo, but like 12 shots? Once again, I was calling it a six shooter because I thought it'd have six shots. Going after speed. Wait, what? I didn't even realize. Was that a thing going on before? Did I turn something on I didn't mean to? Because I just got like two random people that just joined me. Maybe it's because we're just doing the same mission. Alright, and what's this? Mastery we're already at mastery ranking level two. We just unlocked level one and like doing this whole thing. Okay, right, what does that do? It's weird. Why did they join my team? Ha. I bet they weren't expecting us to use the fuses like that. Descendant, powerful reinforcements have arrived. It's okay if I don't remind you what to do again. Yeah. Do I? God damn it! You just dodge roll off the cliff. Woo! Okay, never mind. I've learned a useful tactic today. Thank you, Captain Harris. Mission complete. Now on, the new Vulcan fuel generators we find will be handled using this method. Descendant, Alpha has authorized access to the Ancestor's facility. I can call that authorization. It's not your concern. We've exchanged some harsh words, but I will handle it. I decided to go ahead. I had no choice. I respect Alpha's prudence, but I do not want to waste what might be our only opportunity to work with the guide. If our results at the Ancestor's facility are positive, Alpha will change his mind. Which is why I leave it in your capable hands, Descendant. Okay, it's kind of weird that they're like giving us all these people that are talking to us, but most of them, I don't even know what their faces are looking like. <laughs> like, it's hard to like really connect with the character when it's like, who are you? Like, I'm- I've spoken to, like, three people, and one of them wasn't even a person. Wait, what was that? Oh, is it because it's water and we can't swim? Oh. oh, we can do public or private. Let's go private. Yeah, because like the dude we teamed up with for some reason back there was like level 40. And it's like, this game's already pretty easy. I don't want someone just like coming through and just like wiping the whole field out for us. This is the ancestor's facility. I hope we can find something we can use to restore my system. But the Vulcan's commander has already ordered his troops to extract the data. Are we too late? The ancestor's data should not be underestimated. Not only does it have immense capacity, it's also quantum encrypted. Even the Magisters who worked here doing research have said that full data extraction is impossible. Magisters? 
I can't even tell. Are headshots worth more? Oh, yep, they are. God, we just pick up a lot of stuff. Dude up here. Whoop. Yeah, it, it's weird. For some reason this game it feels like our jump should be like a little more exaggerated i mean like we have like i don't know if we're robot legs but we have like robotic boot stuff on shouldn't that give us like higher jumpies like this just feels like a game since we already have a grappling hook we should be able to do like pretty high jumps or something it said they're the tiny baby jumps all right wait hold on Okay, good. I, I, we are in like this weird area where clearly we had to pick whether we wanted to do it public or privately. So I wasn't sure if they were going to allow us to access this stuff or if it was going to work like a dungeon where it's like, no, can't change your gear. You have to have it preset before you go in. Okay, defense up. Um, Max field. Max eight. Even more of these. For like armor. This. Wait, we did get some more weapon. This hand cannon is so fucking awesome. Ah. See here. Oh, this is a full auto. This is a little bit weaker than what we already have on. Another hand cannon. Way weaker than what we have. Right. Oops. Some of these chips. Oh, we got two of these already. Oh, I didn't even realize there was this one too. This is straight up something else. Okay. Um, shields up, I guess. Kill mode. Or sub mode. I don't really hear what meaning. Power on fire. Fire resist. Okay. Max HP. Not that. Um. Past okay, customization, um, not emotes or skins or anything like that. Like, what do we do for like armor? Or was that it? Like, there was another. Am I crazy? There was like another window. Maybe it was skins. It was skins. I was thinking of this one as like armor, but no, this is just fancy stuff. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Attachment. Ahem, <clears throat> all right. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the ancestors' data remains in this terminal. I will check the other terminals, but it seems the Vogus were successful with their extraction. That can't be right. If it were possible to fully extract the data, then the Magisters would have already done it. Until recently, it would have been impossible for the Vogus as well. 
However, if they have someone on their side who is very familiar with the Iron Heart, then it will have been achievable. By applying algorithms from the Iron Heart to military applications, electronic warfare capabilities can be greatly improved. I recommend we investigate the other terminals. We got gold. Yeah, what the fuck's the gold for then? Maybe medic packs or something? Descendant, did you come here looking for me? Or did you capture me with this superior technology of the Vulcus? I am Grey, commander of the Imperial Vulcus forces. It is a shame that I am unable to face you directly. Honestly, the music has not been standing out in this game for me. It has been very backgroundy music. Okay, those are also explosive. Okay, that was a lot. Let me reload everything. Cannon. Wait, do we get mastery over different types of weapons too? Maybe? Part of the scenery and stuff looks really nice. I'm a sucker for like buildings that have then got like overgrown and stuff. I love that aesthetic. Fucking explode in your ass. Okay. Dang it, I can't I can't tell where those things are coming from. It's like they're just kinda already floating and about to explode, so it's like I'm not seeing where those little bombs are coming from. Okay, I keep on seeing that pop up. Like, how do I keep getting level two? Getting like a thing popping up saying, Oh, uh, level two something. Okay, I'm kind of in the middle of combat right now, bud. <laughs> yeah, and based on the like, I don't even know the level is battle pass level separate from character level, I'm assuming. Unless character level resets every month. You fucking nerd. 
This terminal also does not contain the ancestors' data. However, descendant, I sense the transmission of the ancestors' data is happening close by. That is most likely where the enemy command center is located. As the enemy sealed off Kingston's network, transmitting data over a long distance would have been impossible. This means we still have an opportunity to retrieve oh. the ancestors' data. Okay, that was. Yeah. The auto regen health. Why do we need a health station? Or maybe regen only happens when you're solo? And as a group, it doesn't? Maybe? I don't know. It's weird. Okay, that, that's weird. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we're level eight. We got, oh, okay. So these guys can get levels. And we have this level too. And we're getting more of this. Not sure what this does. Maybe this allows us to level up items or something. And I have not found a use for gold yet. Wait, what? Oh, good. Not... Okay. Alright. Let's go back to home base. I've only spent like two seconds there. As soon as I showed up, I was like, cool, go somewhere else. The situation continues to get worse. But that doesn't mean everything is lost. If we hit the enemy command post now, we can still retrieve the data for the guide. Now, did you just say, retrieve the data for the guide? Okay, well, we got purple over there, and then we got gold over here. I don't think we've done gold yet, so let's check this out. Prime hand? Getting handsy. Okay. Upgrade your mod. Okay. Wait, is there a skill tree or like that? Anything like that, or is everything already fixed? Oh wait, then this also brings up another question. Does that mean each character? have their own level that you do this to? Where's that hype meat was it coming from? <laughs> It's like, it's been such background music until right there. Bro. Um, new subquest added. Okay. Okay, this seems very fun and has a lot of potential. Although, yeah, it is a massive downer that, like, basically everything that you'd want to buy are things locked behind, like, the actual paywall stuff. I thought we'd be able to earn some of those characters or something. That's kind of a bummer. But hey, hopefully uh, the other one, once human, uh, will come to consoles pretty quickly, hopefully. Maybe that one will be a little more better. Oh, she... Okay, this bunny one. Oh, Aim the suit, basically. Oh, 
Oh wait, we still need more material. What's oh, part of the main quest? Oh, okay. Oh, that's always... Okay. Got this blue banner over here. Okay, so you can unlock people, okay. But... Looks like we got like a bunch of stuff over there too, which we haven't really explored. And yeah, like, okay. So far the story is weird because it's like, okay, we find a ball thing, bad guys got ball thing. Turns out lady or consciousness in ball unlocks something in you. Then you see magic glowy lady back here, and then she takes on human form. I feel like we should be talking to someone about that. <laughs> or bringing that up to someone, really. Instead of us being like, yep, business as usual, anyway. to rely on that guide you prefer to keep sending in the investigative core how much time have we wasted searching for the iron hearts without any leads alpha this is the best opportunity we've had in a century or it could be a trap the descendants are albion's only hope and now it's like they have a parasite attached to their minds Okay, am I crazy? This way, descendant. Or do most of the women just have the same exact face in this game? And they're mainly just changing eye color and hair. It seems HQ is faltering. I understand. After all, HQ shoulders the burden of protecting humanity. It is difficult for the fate of humanity to be placed into the hands of something only a few can see. But, Descendant, my purpose is the same as yours. Trust me. Do this, and you will retrieve the Iron Heart. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and I think someone said Iron Hearts, too, plural, so there's more than one. God damn, this game looks cool and it's got nice design. Feels great. Feels a little too easy right now, but I hope that picks up. It's a little bit more difficult. Question about the op descendant. I apologize for my temper. I should also apologize to you, Nell. It seems the divide between our opinions regarding this operation may be too great. I did not authorize the investigation of the ancestors' facility because I trust the guide. 
My intention was to prevent the Vulgus from accessing the Ancestor's data. Which is why, regardless of whether I trust her or not, that data must be retrieved. Bunny has identified a number of Vulgus facilities located in the direction of the Grand Square. If we investigate them, we should be able to track down the location of the Vulgus command center where the data is being held. As for the guide, let's continue that discussion after this operation is concluded. So obviously there's quite a few different areas. Okay, we got quite a few spots. We got some gold over here. Teleport me. Wow. Okay, we haven't really looked at any of this. Okay, workbench, what do we got? Yeah, it's all locked. Alright, we have to get to rank 3. Got storage box. Got robot. Okay, actually, let's, uh, let's... Alright. Sure, why not? Let's... I should probably have looked at this first. Oh, we got another heavy. Although that hand cannon's been fucking destroying people. Wait, actually, hold on. Do I have to swap these out from this gun? Or is it just like the... I swap over to another sniper. This one that is extra... Fortunately, we've only gotten one sniper. But, like, type, visually. Got that one. We're gonna up to it. Alright. Let's go around. Feel like one shot in people. Honestly, the grappling hook hasn't really come into play much yet. Although I guess that could be on me. Honestly, I really have not even been using the radar. Yeah, you got it. He just explodes into a fine pink mist.
I'm not sure where what radar. Did radar over there? Where? Where over there? So many shots fired. Am I out of ammo? Damn it, man. Your level 30 is just fucking one-shotting everyone. Like, I'm already one-shotting everything, but still. Oh, looks like they're serious. Maybe our radar really is bothering them. Let's show them what an electrifying attack looks like. I'm loading. Dude. Looks like they're falling back. Great job. I'll need okay. to get a move on. Um I think I'm starting to see a massive problem with this game. One, people are just randomly joining me for these. I don't really care that much, but like dudes are like level 30 and just like completely annihilating everyone. I'm level 9, and I'm still destroying everyone pretty well, but, like, they're able to completely wipe the field for me, and it's like, I want to play this game. I don't want someone else to do all the work. I mean, that's the point of playing the game. And two, no one's really been that hard to fight solo-wise so far. It just kind of feels like here's a game, and it's not even balanced for combat at all. It's just, like, pull trigger, shoot. Get rewards that you can't really spend anywhere other than leveling up certain things. So, it's not even really like... Not even like hard or difficult, it's just like, go through the motions of pretending to play a video game. Stand here, pull trigger, you win. Yes. Like, it, like, it's fine. Like, sometimes people need, like, a chill game to play. That's easy. Like, that's not a big deal, but... Although we haven't really unlocked our moves much.
reached level 10 already. Alright. to Bunny. Thankfully, since they damaged the network infrastructure, transmission speeds have been extremely slow. That came back to bite them. <laughs> Got it. The enemy command center has been identified. Great work, Bunny. You kept at it until it was done. Thank you. It's all thanks to everyone who worked hard to find the clue. So, are we planning to hit them right away? You've already been injured by Corel, so full-scale combat is out of the question for you at the moment. A different descendant will be tasked with the strike on the Volcus Command Center. Mm. I wanted to help. Descendant, get the coordinates of the Command Center from Bunny and prepare to attack. Over and out. All right. Wait, why do we have a two over our grappling? Did you just hear something? We changed grapple. Did you hear Alpha? Time to swap ships, partner. To be honest, I wanted to be the one to capture the Volgus commander. How infuriating. The operation to retrieve the Ironheart failed and I got injured. Ugh. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I should go swap out my weapons and upgrade my modules if I don't want to be defeated again. Guess I'll head back first. Good luck. See you in Albion. Go after this guy. data transmitter, please destroy. At that range, I'll be able to intercept the transmission and secure the data. It's imperative we prevent the ancestors' data from falling into Corral's hands. It really just threw you in here with the story and stuff. <laughs> Alright, Corral, bad guy. Alright, uh, wow, we are, they're throwing... 
pulling a lot of heavies at us now. Is that, is that a sniper rifle that's a heavy? Yeah, okay, cool. Doesn't look like all of the new weapons we got are either special bullets, which was like a three burst shot, the one that I used, or it's a heavy, which doesn't come with a lot of ammo. No, I'm happy with what we got now. Whoop. That's fun. Sling <laughs> shot. Oh wow, honestly, some of these guys blend in. Ancestors data packets detected. Transmission is taking place close by. You will all be at risk if you do not stop them. Hurry. It looks like we're not auto-genning in here, so that's good to know. God dang, this thing just uses up ammo so quickly. It needs a bigger clip. There we go. data transmitter. What do we... Now we're starting to get into some difficult shit now. Okay, here we go. Wow, okay, melee attacks, not great. Now I'm seeing the point of, like, heals and stuff like that, because in here you don't auto-regen. And this isn't good, that was just the first round. And I didn't even realize there's a limit to your abilities, too. I thought they just had cooldown.
forces. Protect the transmitter at all costs. Great job, Descendant. I will collect the Ancestor's data. Please focus on the battle. Yeah, we're not really getting many heals out of these boxes. Be a This sniper is so. All the weapons are busted in this game. The sniper's busted, hand cannon's busted. Oop. Oh shit. Did not realize dudes ported in behind me. Dang it. Level two for one of our abilities. Nice. I'm loading. All right, there. This is what I'm looking for. A little bit more uh, tension here popping off. I was afraid this was going to be a cakewalk up until this point, but again, like we're still early in the game, so. Mission attempts available eight. Why is that permanently open?
Okay, that's actually a pretty good spot to have. Yeah, it looks like we can only grappling hook like two in a row. Just 400 at this range. All right. Collection 90% complete. Descending. I'll look for the final data transmitter. Wait. The location is. <laughs> Transmission. I have the final transmitter. You will be defeated. <laughs> I'll see about that. Descendant, we need to hurry. The data transmission is almost complete. Yeah, this machine gun is pretty ass. Um, just because it's got so little of a clip, it needs more. Because we have to re uh re up so freaking much Oh, shiz. Boy's not running. Okay, I don't know how to not get hit by this. Okay, there we go.
Oh my god, trying to do this is... Oh, that's too far away. Oh my god. Okay, just popped in. That dude... Okay, I don't know if that dude was chasing us or if he just, like, materialized. Holy shit. Dang it. Another dude. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely much more of a thing than it was earlier. Alright. Okay, we are pretty low on health right now. Not great, not great. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Some difficulty finally peeking up on this game. To all descendants, I have obtained the ancestors' data. With this, I have been able to restore my system. If there are any descendants who can speak to me now, please connect. I would like to speak with you directly. I have vital information. This is Enzo, standing by to upload records to the command console. If there are any descendants able to respond, please speak to the guy. Every so often I'll hear a little bit of background music and I'm like, okay, this is kind of popping off. But then most of the time it's either nothing or generic and it's like, ah, oh, no. Mixed bag here. Alright, let's see here. Rank up. Plus three. It's like such a cool sound effect, but it's like, I look exactly the same. Wow. Like, bro. I've done like a, maybe some glowy effects or something. All right. I'm gonna upgrade these. One. Whoa, we got a lot. All right. One that we have on is twenty-three.
There's specific resistance. Alright, honestly, none of those were really that good. This one. Yield H max H. Honestly, we haven't picked up too many. We can purchase a slot. Okay, um. That's what I'm really, really not helping us. <laughs> yeah, we have not really been using these special weapons. Maybe I'll check it out tomorrow. Because I think we are going to call it for today. We got a lot of slots open. Sucker Punch, Fire Resistance. All attribute resistance? That sounds crazy. Oh, yeah. Alright. And yeah, our mastery is rank B. E, and our character level is 11. Got something in customize. Doesn't really say what. Just got a red dot. We haven't really used any emotes or anything. Doesn't really matter. Alright, um. of hers. I don't think we ever actually How do we acquire the bunny suit? Have all the parts. Beat Gravewalker. Okay, so I mean that would be more down the line on the but that is gonna be it for today. A bit of a mixed bag. Like, I like the designs for a lot of the characters. I like the feel of most of the gameplay. It was pretty easy up until that last fight. And I'm not a real big fan of just randos being able to join you. Especially when they're, like, extremely overleveled and can just wipe everyone for you. Not a big fan of that. Um, and super not big fan of, ha like, everything. Everything. Only taking the currency of uh like, like the actual cash currency like that's lame a lot that's very very lame i was hoping there was something like they didn't even do like dual battle pass which a lot of things do where there's the free part and then the actual like these are the ones you have to pay for like they're not even doing that it's just straight up pay battle pass or pay skins which is like i get it it's a free game but still I'm just hoping that we'll be able to earn all the characters at some point in the game. Since there doesn't seem to be any way to buy them, even if it was like an insane amount of in-game currency, I'd still be like, okay, well, at least they give you the way to do it. But at this point, it's like, no, there's no way to actually do that. So that's a that, that's kind of a big womp womp for me. Uh, so far, the story is just kind of okay. Like, like, I see potential in it, but they kind of drop you in the middle of it. Don't really explain much of it, and just like, okay, do this basic shit now. It's like, we just fought what I'm assuming, like, the opening cutscene was like, wasn't that like the head of the enemy? And we were like going up against them, and then we're on just like basic walk around this area duty. It's like, really? Bruh. 
Uh, but whatever. It, it this seems it's it's fun so far, uh, and we're gonna continue playing this more tomorrow. See how that goes. And uh, yeah, that is it for today. The end of day one thousand four hundred and forty of streaming in a row. Thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, like I said, tomorrow will just be some more of the first descendants. And then Monday we are probably gonna hop back into uh, Limitless, Limitless Zone Zero. And uh, on Tuesday we're gonna hop into Genshin and explore um, a new area that they added to the game, which I didn't even realize they did. Um, because it's like a weird sub area where you have to like go inside of a building. I don't know if it's like an extension to an interior or if it's like a, some sort of teleporting to somewhere else, but we're, we're going to be checking that out on Tuesday. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you for coming out and hanging out. Like always, links down below for my Twitter.